Hey guys, Doc and Claire here, and today we are going to do a factory reset, and then I'll do a separate video on how to install Bazite. Um, of course, this is going to be a little bit more interesting, so you're going to head on over to the Lenovo website and get the Lenovo Digital Download Recovery Service, which I've already downloaded here. This is going to create a exe or download an exe file which we just got now i do have this connected to a usb c so here we go now we're going to click start it's going to ask you for your information which i will enter you will require uh, login information for your Lenovo Legion Go, which you can sign up for via the Lenovo website. Now that we're all signed in, we're going to move on to the next step. Of course, I've already gone ahead and done this portion, so it shows the Win Home XP. We're going to click on Confirm. It's going to say Download. Do you want to get? Yes. In this case, because I tried to start it on the other computer, but since we're doing this a little bit differently, we're going to proceed with the download. And this takes about 5-10 minutes. So now that our download is done, we are going to be using a Samsung 128 gig SD card because my USB card sticks do not seem to like to work right now. So. We'll get that plugged in, and then we'll move on to the next part. All right, here we go. Click Next. Okay. And then it's going to give us options here, typically. Um, in this case, it doesn't seem to want to show this. But we will, we will try and utilize one of my lovely USB sticks here. This is a 16 gig. See if it shows off. So the SD card didn't work, but it is reading the 16 gigs card. We're going to click next and see if this works. Now, naturally it does prefer a 32 gig stick. So luckily enough, I do have one of those. This is a Kingston. This one doesn't always like to work, but we'll give it a shot. Now I have had the SD card work in the past, but it doesn't always do. If that's the case, you'll, what you'll see is you'll see a red error and it'll give you that. But let's give this 32 gig stick a try here. I'm going to plug it in. There's the 32 gig, and let's give this a try. Click yes, so automatically create a partition. And this will also take between 10 to 15 minutes. So as you can see, it failed to partition. So this is, this is where I've had issues in the past with this. So we will uh, definitely try and take a different route. So what I ended up having to do is go back in and try and do this again. Um, but we are going to give this a shot once more uh, through the SD card as I've had it work in the past. But let's uh, see if I can find a workaround here for you guys. So according to the web, Getting one of these lovely USB-C adapters with the uh, SD card reader is one way to kind of trick the Lenovo recovery into thinking that this is a USB stick. It's up to you. In this case, I have been to have one laying around. As you can see, now that that's plugged into the top here, we are seeing the generic storage USB drive, 
which ends up doing the trick. So let's click next and get on with this uh, next part here. And then we'll move on to then all the fun and joy. We're gonna click yes. And then this will take about five, 10 minutes once again for it to fully complete. I do suggest using a regular USB stick in this case, but if you don't have one laying around and you have an adapter, then an SD card will definitely do the trick. Or if you do have a hub like I do, then you with the USB or SD card, then you can definitely use that um, instead of by going out and buying a 32 gig plus USB stick. So worst case scenario is you always covered in that department. And then once this is all done here, we'll uh, get on to the recovery of the unit. Now, as we're almost done, I do want to mention that I do use a mouse and keyboard for this whole thing, um, just due to making it easier. If you don't have a mouse and keyboard, don't fret, you can still do this without. Once it's done, it's going to move on to validating the USB key. This will take approximately another five to 10 minutes. And then once that's done, then we'll move this down to the bottom port because we are going to need access to the volume up button for this whole procedure. Um, once that's done, then I will move on to the next part and we'll get this all set up here and show you how it's done. Now that this part is done here, we're going to click yes and we will it's going to say USB key created successfully. Once you delete the we're just going to click no because it doesn't really matter because everything is going to be wiped. All right, let me get this moved down to the bottom here and then I'll uh, get on to the next part. All right, so first we're going to head down here. We're going to shut the unit down. It's going to ask for updates, but it doesn't matter because we are going to be wiping this. So we're not going to bother updating. Once it's fully down, then we will click the power button here and then continue to hold the power up button. It's gonna go into a boot menu here. We're gonna go system recovery. Which of course it's gonna give us a please wait here. Then it's gonna pop up with a lovely blue windows sign here. So we're going to use device, USB. That's going to give us a bunch of different things here because I messed up on uh, install of uh, Nabara. And then I ended up deleting it and installing Bazite instead. But this way we're going to erase everything. We can click here, EFI USB device. We're going to select that USB stick that we made. As you can see, there is about four different options there. That's what we're trying to avoid. So from the boot menu, now we're here. It's going to say next. We're going to be able to select our country, which is, in my case, going to be Canada. Let's see if we can. Which we definitely do not see Canada on there, but so we'll end up picking 
the next closest country, which is going to be the United States. There we go. And we're going to click next. Yes, I accept the terms and conditions. Next. Yes. And it's going to say recovery environment initialization successful found USB D drive. Sometimes you do have to go into the boot menu instead of the recovery because that's what's going to pick it up. So what it's going to do is you're going to see this lovely loading screen and this can take between 10 minutes and 45 minutes. As you can see, it's now to the point where it's cleaning up the hard drive successfully. System is being installed. Um, now this does say may take up to a few hours. Once this part's done, then I'll show you kind of what the next part of this is all going to look like. Um, it gets pretty confusing and you'll see a ton of different things that it does, but we'll uh, eventually get there and then I'll show you that. As you can see, it did ask me to quickly remove the SD card so it doesn't do that um and now we're going to get into the part where you'll see a lot of random streaming stuff on here as it goes i'm gonna adjust the leech and go here it's gonna reboot a bunch of times this is where the true fun starts to happen and this is totally factory reset you're gonna see a bunch of lines here and It'll do its thing. It's going to reboot probably about 10 times. This part, it, it does say that it takes a couple hours, but realistically, it's about 20 to 30 minutes on tops. The whole process from start to end is about an hour and a half to two hours. We are now at the stage where it's now doing this portion um, as it slowly goes through its process of doing a full factory reset. Um, it does say administrator welcome, but that will change once Windows Ashley is fully installed back onto the system. As you can see here, now it's gone from this and then Windows setup, um, and you'll see a bunch of different texts and whatnot as it goes through. Just leave it, do it, let it do its thing. And of course, naturally, it will get everything working here for you. But once again, this part does take a fair bit of time as it goes through all the process. Now it's currently going through its process of wiping everything off and redoing the partitions. Like I said, this part does take a fair bit of time, but once it's done, it's done. It does say it takes several hours from start to finish with recreating or creating the recovery media from the Lenovo website. Yes, it technically does take an hour to or two, your using but the screen reader. Turn on narrator by pressing Windows we'll avoid Windows from talking here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it does take a bit, bit of time to do this. So until our next video here, I bid you farewell and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Like and subscribe.